Ladies and gentlemen, I am really excited to announce that uh, I'm going to be taking YouTube real serious now. And I have a friend, my buddy Brandon, who just bought a bus. And I don't normally do builds for clients, but he's a really good friend of mine. And I owe a lot of my success to things he's taught me in the past. So this is a full, full circle kind of deal. And I'm going to be building a bus for him in 30 days starting july 1st so it's gonna be a really cool series we're gonna vlog the entire build um and if you guys want to check that out i would make sure that you subscribe if you're not always already subscribed and we're gonna hop into that 30-day build starting now Okay, so I gotta start working on the other bus, one of the other buses around here. So we're gonna give the camera to Brandon and he's gonna tell you what he's up to, what he's got going on. All right, sounds good. So, uh, I don't know, I got a bus. <laughs> <laughs> I showed up here in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. Um, we're gonna be doing a big skateboarding tour, August 13th, 2021, starting in Seattle, going for six weeks, mostly around the West Coast, um, to basically inspire people and to build community that goes beyond the board. That's the name of the tour, Beyond the Board. Bus is called the Shred Sled because we're shredding. Um, but yeah, we've basically been doing um, these free lessons. Me and my girlfriend, Brooke Johnson, we'll be doing these free longboarding meetups in Los Angeles. Started as a few people. Now it's like 60 people a week and we've built an awesome community. And it's been cool to see all different types of people uh, from all over Los Angeles kind of get into it. The reason I love longboarding is it's like the perfect balance of something that's kind of dangerous and intimidating, um, but it's just accessible enough to be able to kind of get in, have some small wins, have fun, and be motivated. So we're gonna bring the party and bring the action all over the West Coast soon, in like 30 days. So, bam. You're gonna to wanna to take that impact, put a Phillips on it, and just zip all these out. And then you're gonna have some wire in there. You're gonna clip it, put some tape on it. Mm -hmm. You should come get a couple zip ties for me. Make sure it's really secure before you push them back in the body. Because if that tape comes loose in the insulation, that's how bus fires start. Mm -hmm. So tie them up out here and then I'll check it. Mm -hmm. And then and then just clip them. So we're taking off the uh, sign, the demon sign. Isaac said we gotta chop the wires right here. The only thing is I can't, I'm not supposed to let these touch. And not good. <laughs> Bro, I don't know about this. this is, there's too many wires touching each other. I don't know about this, bro. I, I can, this thing might just, oh. You're good. No, I don't know about that, dude. You're good, man. This thing's gonna drop. I know, I'll catch it. Just don't let the wires touch the bus, that's all. Whoa. You're good, watch your feet though. There you go. I don't know about that, dude. No. You wanna do it, Dash? No, but you did. Dash, you got it. Come on, bro. <laughs> your bus, your shit. Uh -uh. You said it's easy, bro. Come on. <laughs> Come on, buddy. One thing hard is this thing's like so heavy, it's gonna chop my toe off. And it's already zapping at me, dude. I'm like, I'm touching it here, and it's like, gzz, gzz. Pretty sure Isaac did the easy one, bro. It's a whole bunch of wires, all they're trying to do, all sorts of shit to each other. See what I'm saying? All right, three, two, one. Go. This just seems dangerous, dude. Good. What do you mean, no? Ah. What? It doesn't seem kosher, dude. You think so? You do it, bro. Yes, right there. I got it all fucking prepped up for you, dude, right there. You just gotta chop it. Chop it, chop and drop, bro. Chop and drop. So you just hold it like right. Oh, God. 
Dude, you jumped. Holy oh, shit. Dude, watch your toes. Ah. <laughs> that was so overhyped. Oh, <laughs> that was so overhyped. Okay. All right, we're just... We don't know what we're doing at all. Every one of these separate so that they don't touch inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. So put a little tape on that, 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 a little tape on that. Then, so they're all separated, then you wrap it all up. Mm. Tie it. Oh, there's the tie wrap. It's on his back. Oh, oh it's right here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> has to go back to LA, man. He's leaving. Sorry, man. He can't hang. He can't go buzz. All work, no play, man. That's all right. He might be back, though. Dang. <laughs> so, you know, it was good to meet you, brother, for real. Of course. I'll see you. I'll see you again. Oh, you, are you going with me? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to build a buzz. Oh, he's a He's a mad guy. Yes, sir. You let the glow plugs hit first, right? <laughs> huh? You didn't just turn it on. No, no, no. He did. He did. I, I, I know what I'm doing. Dude, look at Ron, started it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He came Christ. out with that look on his face. Yeah. I was like, oh, don't tell him the truth. You just, nah. don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. No, no, welcome back in Busland. <laughs> yeah, Desh, what was your uh, favorite part of the last two days? Um, Hold on, hold on. The favorite part of the last two days. You know what? It honestly was finally washing the bus after 24 hours with you. Because I know we couldn't get every single nook and cranny off of that thing, so we just kept washing it and washing it and washing it. I'm gonna have nightmares of washing buses. Washing it and washing it. Nah, that actually was fun. <laughs> stores now <laughs> we went to let's see we went to Home Depot we went to Lowe's we went to Jerry's on West 11th we went to Jerry's in Springfield and then we had them check all of the other Home Depots in the area <laughs> that's too many <laughs> so it's July 1st this is the first official day of Brandon's build and he just got up <laughs> he just got up I have to brush his teeth right now. <laughs> so we're gonna get this day going and uh, we'll show you what kind of shenanigans we get into. All right, so we're gonna try and register this bus as an RV today. And sometimes the DMV wants like a stove and a kitchen and all that stuff. And we're gonna kind of show you how we do this. <laughs> so there's our sink right there. Uh, there's his bed. And then we should open that up so he, they can see the grill. And we'll sit over here. <laughs> and this will be the kitchen. And uh, there's this RV to get it registered right there. <laughs> and then. So 
so funny. We got dad out here. <laughs> yeah, I woke up so I just shoveled. <laughs> to dad? Yeah. I was like, I wasn't sure if you were sleeping or working. I was sleeping, fuck. I was like, the part is, like, you guys like you and me, we, we try to work too much. Yeah, and then, and, and then. At the end of the day, at least efficient. Yeah. What? I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just out here figuring shit out. One disaster after another. <laughs> it's gonna be paint, bro. It's gonna be white. Y'all riding in the magic school bus today. Okay, so we're getting ready to wash the bus. Getting ready for paint. Hopefully you guys will see paint on it today. And uh... We said hopefully? No, we're gonna get paint on it today. <laughs> <laughs> but we left DMV. You know, DMV did us all right, so we're doing okay. But we're gonna set a time lapse up and hop right into this. My best man, we're gonna fart this up. Ah. Hey, there you go, bro. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> rub on this dark stuff too, because it comes right up. Uh, just don't. You don't rub. No, so you don't rub hard. Sure, just it's light. just a, a light rub, just it's just light. just to get the dust off. A uh, real just quick. Basically a dusting, just to get some dust off and some dirt. So you don't want to rub too hard, you know what I'm saying? Just real slow and easy, baby, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, you can start getting the paint out. Uh, yeah, double, double up those. Okay. Brandon makes a good point. A lot of you guys, you know, might be asking like, what kind of paint do we use? Right? Yeah. So basically, we sand the whole thing with 220. Uh, Cause you're scuffing the surface so it'll take paint. Um, you fill any holes. I typically use JB Weld to patch any holes. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll make little aluminum plates um, and, and patch kind of bigger holes. So rough, sand the whole thing with 220, boom. I use a Henry's uh, like RV top coat sealer for the roofs and I'll attach links to all this stuff below. And then the paint we actually use. Okay, so the other thing is a bare metal. You wanna put a metal etching primer on. I'll attach a link to that too. You guys are looking at the best stain roll job in all of middle of nowhere, Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> so sand the whole thing, wash the whole thing, put the put the primer on there, mask it, paint it, a little crazy. But the paint we actually use is um, is an oil based. It's basically an oil based paint from Home Depot. It's a bare product, and then you can pick whatever color you want. So. Um, you just go to the shelf in Home Depot and you pick whatever color swatch you, swatch you want and then you just get a, uh, a semi-gloss oil-based product of it. And then I use it all the time. It works great. So that's what I recommend. Why semi-gloss? So the reason... So it comes in, yeah. comes in two finishes. So it, it comes in two finishes. Matte is actually very, very hard to keep clean and wash because it just... It's porous and it, and it holds dirt in, in, the, in, in the pores of it. Semi-gloss is a lot easier to maintain, a lot easier to clean, and it also hides a lot of blemishes when you're painting if it's not perfect. If you have gloss, you're gonna see every single streak and line there is. Semi-gloss hides it and it's easier to clean. So, a little info. All right, everybody, so this is the end of day one. 
of the 30 day build on uh, Brandon's bus right here and pretty much got it painted. So we're gonna leave the masking on tonight and then we're gonna unmask it tomorrow morning and the paint's done. And then we can move into some other things. We're thinking probably the floor. Uh, probably clean the interior and the floor tomorrow, but we're making good progress. Brandon, how do you feel, bro? Woo, I feel great, man. We're out in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. Got uh, <laughs> Big Daddy D here on the brush. That's right. It's really good. It looks great, man. I was a little worried the color was gonna be a little too white, but it's got this cool like silvery kind of like yeah, I like it. I like gray it kind of silver. What's it called? Tell me what it's called. The shred sled. Oh, watch out! Watch out. Okay, that's the end of day one, and then we'll give you an update in the morning. Yeah. So this is day two of the 30-day build. That's your boy Brandon right there. Look at it. Just, just take a look back there. It looks so good. Um, so we got the paint done, and that's gonna wrap it up for the first video of this 30-day build series. And then we're gonna do some planning today. It's looking good, man. We're day two. Yeah, day two. But we're gonna save a little bit for the next one. So that's it for this. Paint looks great. We're moving along. Bye.